In today's episode, we will see the very pitiful and pathetic lion. Here, he is no longer a majestic lord of the jungle. It is not what we often see. These are the wild animals that defeat and injure a lion, causing one to lose his leg. The afternoon has gradually fallen in Africa. When the buffalo herd is about to rest for a long day, the lioness begins the hunt. When it's seen the wild buffalo walking slower, immediately it can jump, attacking the weak without mercy. Spotting her prey, the lion plans. Unfortunately for the lions, their prey is not only strong, but they have powerful kicks, tossing the lion in the air. With a precise and powerful flick of her horns, the lioness is flung like a ball, falling right upon her face. She was trampled on and rammed in face by the wild bull. Now it is a painful moment, having to flee. Unlike jaguars and tigers, lions are quite adverse to the rivers. This does not mean that they can't swim, but in some situations, the process of hunting the prey forces them into the area of the waters. Here, they must use their swimming skills. But on the field, they have greater advantages. One of the most powerful animals in the river the crocodile. It can be seen that two male lions are developing in the stage, but for some reason they are lost from their herd. Both trying to swim across to the grasslands. They are halfway when the crocodile quickly attacks, jumping upon the male. He is countered attacked and now he must drag his body ashore, injured and wound. He has been bitten badly by the crocodile screaming out in pain. Lions are compared to the lord of the jungle. They are the king who rules over the vast land, having the rights to hunt any herbivore in his territory. They have many herds and the families grow large. In the grasslands of Africa, hyenas and lions are two unlikely enemies. They do not pass up the opportunity to steal food and destroy each other. In the war between the two, hyenas are often the first to start, actively attacking the lion and observing them carefully. One lion is so afraid that he has to climb the tree to hide. Being disturbed, the lion is uncomfortable. Now it appears that he must attack back, killing one of the young hyenas. This will be his only chance of survival. Such a large size, the ruler of the land is still attacked by a herd of hyenas. Showing no fear, he must defend himself and his territory. It is rare in the wild. Hyenas often keep their distance from large hunters and only conflicting when there is prey involved. But this situation is different. The lions are engrossed in feeding. They do not stand still and bear the battle. This war has lasted for centuries. A young has been deeply injured now, he could only give up. Badly injured on his hind legs, there is no more energy left to fight. Both sides must retreat from war.
The old lion could only drag himself back to a safe place to hide. Observing the zebra cubs from a close distance, the lioness seems everything is right. Now, she can only lay still. However, a surprise has happened with the appearance of a third character. As the zebra begins the chase, running away desperately, she kicks at the lioness, hoping to save her life. The mother's great love overcomes all fear, and now the zebra desperately clings to her life. Repeatedly kicking, trying to separate the cubs from the lion. She is beaten badly by the lion. Two, attacking. But the mother comes in to save. Now she can only drag her baby's body back to freedom. Desperately clinging on to what is left of her young. The body is ragged and been beaten. A lioness is surrounded by a pack of hyenas. The intention is to steal the food. She tries to fight the enemy, protecting herself and her meal. The overwhelming number of hyenas makes this situation very difficult. When the numbers of hyenas have reached 15, the lioness knows she must fight for her life. It is a final decision, desperate to run away. She climbs to the nearest tree, hiding from the bloodthirsty hyenas. Leopards are among the largest cats. They are distributed in Sub-Sahara Africa, Northeastern Africa, Central Asia, and even India and China. Their prey includes antelope, deers, even rabbits, and fish. Leopards are good at climbing. They can jump up to a meter of three meters high. But the African lion is the only cat in the world that lives in groups. These two are inherent enemies. The male lion must guard his territory, protecting the females as the male hunter. Although they are cruel animals when attacking, if they clash, who will win? The battle is underway between the leopard and the lion. It looks like the lone leopard has strayed into the territory of the lions. Now, quickly realizing he has made a grave mistake, he must find shelter. There is very little chance of survival for this leopard. A male lion has risked his life fighting against the buffalo. This game is tilted in favor of the large herbivore, thanks to the powerful horns. The buffalo avoids the bite from the lion. Now, the king of the jungle falls into a weak position. The lion's head is drenched in blood. He lies flat, exhausted, nearing death. Despite climbing the high fence, a monkey still cannot escape the pursuit of the predator in the Rikka Islands of Indonesia. This Komodo dragon has no mercy. The Rikka Islands is one that is inhabited by the Komodo dragons. There are many other wild animals here, like boars, buffaloes, monkeys, and a variety of birds. The dragon has pulled the monkey to the ground, pinning him with his sharp teeth. And soon, the other dragons have ran in to finish off this meal. The monkey, quickly torn to a thousand pieces by the dragons. They must fight for a piece of the monkey. It is territory and starvation. On the islands where the monkeys and dragons live together, 
It is quite common for dragons to attack and devour the monkeys. At the top of the ecological food chain, they have no fear. Even an agile and careless monkey will quickly become prey for the Komodo dragon. Instead of tearing their victim apart, the dragon will slowly devour the entire body of the monkey. The Komodo dragon will lay up to 20 eggs in the burrows that they dig. And like all parents in the wild, this reptile is ready to fight anybody who dares to approach the area. Both carnivorous reptiles have encountered the entrance of the cave. The crocodile attacks. The Komodo dragon was determined to protect. When the crocodile rushes in, the dragon's tail is strong and the crocodile has to take many steps, receding back. However, this did not lessen the Komodo dragon's determination to capture the lair. It defines everything rushing into the cave. And the Komodo dragon chooses a rare solution. He tries to run away, leaving the eggs behind. And the crocodile now takes over. Two leopards nearby have seen the entire fight unfold. Now they wait for the right time to attack. Quickly, they use their mouth to pull the Komodo dragon out. Now they can run away with the meal. Seeing the mountain goats feeding, the Komodo dragon quietly approaches, ready to launch a death bite. Being sneaked up on, the goats attempt to use their horns to attack continuously. This is their only defense. Such sharp horns cause the predator to slouch away from the stubborn prey, intimidated and wary. The Komodo dragon slowly approaches in, without hesitation. Ready for his attack, he can nearly taste the victim. He rushes in, attempting to grab at the deer, using his sharp teeth to launch a vital blow to the neck. Spotting a prey from afar, the leopard must use their incredible speed to approach. Although they retract quickly, the wild boar is no match for the leopard. This is a type of speed only a marathon sprinter can endure. When the opportunity comes, the leopard gets out of control, the wild boar skillfully avoiding the deadly pounce. It creates a turning point letting the opponent go ahead. The leopard is having a hard time killing the aggressive prey. However, something unexpected happens. Soon, a hyena appears, looking to take the prey away from the leopard. The leopard regains his power. With one fatal blow, he can devour the animal. In just a few minutes after the fierce battle, the wild boar dies from suffocation. In this match, the leopard was almost exhausted before formating the strength enough to kill his opponent. Then he can quickly carry it away, avoiding detection from all other predators. The leopard has to work very hard to carry the carcass up the tree. Here, he thinks, will be a comfortable place to enjoy the meal, without competition from other species. However, this lion will not back down. He has seen the leopard's actions, despite not being able to climb well and an extremely heavy body. The leopard is missing his prey. Now, the lion calls upon his pack, 
it is time to attack the leopard. Gradually, he becomes exhausted and killed by the lion. The lion is a fierce and magnificent animal. When put in a battle against the leopard, there is only one clear winner. An entire herd of lions attack one leopard. Greatly outnumbered, he has very little chance of success. Soon to be destroyed by the pack of lions, the leopard lays exhausted, waiting to take his last breath. Komodo dragons are famous for being assassins. They can kill large water buffaloes with a single bite. The reason they can do that is thanks to the venomous glands located between their teeth. One bite of an ejected venom through the victim's skull will kill them. The poison gradually penetrates the victim and paralyzes them, rendering them still waiting to die. We've captured the confrontation between the Komodo dragon and the python. The python risks its life rushing straight in to attack the Komodo. At first, the python uses his body to wrap around the prey. But in a moment's time, the Komodo turns his situation. The enemy tries every possible mean to attack the Komodo, but he has failed. He now must run away, thrown up by the Komodo dragon, tossed aside, and the hunter becomes the prey. Today, an unfortunate goat had to die because he's encountered the Komodo dragon. The goat has been knocked down. Although the prey tries to counterattack, it is impossible to avoid the sharp teeth of the predator. The dragon snaps the goat's neck to finish him off. The second dragon charges in, attacking the ill-fated goat. The Komodo dragon is approaching the deer. Its heavy body inflexible mobility, a lazy approach, quietly unleashing the death bite. But this time, the deer doesn't play the script right. Immediately after sensing danger, the herd of deer have ran into panic, creating chaos in the jungle. The Komodo dragon grows impatient. He has one opportunity to capture the prey. As he rushes in, he is determined. Sensing out his prey, he launches an attack. Quickly grabbing at the deer, but he misses. This is the last strength of the Komodo dragon. Despite their slow and sluggish appearance, crocodiles are fearsome predators in the wild. Whether on land or in water. An iguana has a body covered with brown scales. There are many tiny spots arranged in stripes running across their body. Their nostrils are close to the tip of their nose. And although they can swim, they only hunt alone the dusty banks of the rivers and streams. Today, the crocodile hunts the iguana in the wildlife sanctuary, considered a paradise for reptiles, but its geographical location at the confluence of the river makes it a breeding ground for meals. Because of this habitat, the iguana has encountered an overpowerful opponent with tireless efforts, somehow the iguana manages to survive. The crocodile is trying its best to use its mouth to attack, but it takes a long time for the crocodile to get the prey back into the water. Sure. Strangely, it has no intentions well, yeah. of attacking, care of the but only threatening, defending its territory. And the iguana is alive thanks to the crocodile. Today's video is coming to an end and thank you for your attention. If you love videos about fighting animals, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the latest content. 
Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.